all right guys good morning so i'm going to be placing a live trade on mex exchange and how to navigate around it so this is your home page of mex exchange and you come down here to futures you click futures now a signal was dropped on flip flip with financial apostle and this is the signal okay so it said long lunar 2 all right so we go to mex exchange see you come here look at this place here look at this place here you click no no look at this place this is opusdt click on opusdt and search luna 2 luna 2 if you don't have luna 2 you can use luna 1 all right so now he said what long luna that is buy at entry price look at this thing entry price 2.0879 so you come to luna here look at this place you change this place to we are going to use limits if i told you if you are using markets it is instant execution you are entering the trade immediately but limit is that you have an entry price so i'm going to change this entry price to what 2.08 seven nine zero eight seven nine okay so when price gets here zero eight seven nine all right so when price gets to this place the trade is going to open it's as simple as that all right so you can see i am using isolated i explained isolated and cross i'm using isolated so look at this area here let me put my take profit and stop loss so what is my stop loss 2.04 what is my take profit 2.10 so stop loss you come to stop loss 2.04 2.04 take profit 2.10 now i have 43 dollars in my account now i want to place trade with 20% of my account. What is 20% of three dollars? 10% is um 10% of three dollars is uh 10% of three dollars is uh, let us calculate it. Um 10% times 43 dollars is 4.3 dollars. You can see it. So 20% will be 8.6 dollars. So I'm risking I'm risking 20% of my account, which is $8.6 for this trade. Now, you should know that the higher your risk, the higher your profit. So this is the place that we come and put how much of our balance we are risking. And this is my balance, $43. Just giving an example. So if I'm risking 20%, it means that when this trade hits my stop loss, I'm going to lose only 20% and the trade will be closed. If I'm risking... 40 percent it means that if i place trade and this thing hits my stop loss i'm losing 40 percent of my account but remember risk management is vital for me i stick to 10 percent i've been growing this account gradually gradually i've grown it more than so i'm risking 10 percent that means i'm risking 4.3 dollar for this world trade you now click open long after you've used your risk you now click open long so when price gets to that particular place your order will show down here. You just scroll down. You can see your order has, look at it, it has not been filled. Look at it here, unfilled. This trade has not triggered. So let us go to the chart and check. You come here, you go to, look at this area here. You click there, you come to the chart to know where you place your limit. You can see. Now what is this trying to say? If price gets here, it's going to open a buy trade for me. Do you understand? If price gets here, if this price sells to this area, right it's going to open a buy trade for me and my stop loss is below here but the limit is the one showing not my stop loss okay but if they give a trade say um buy luna there's no entry price you just come here change this one to market and just put your percentage put a put, put take profit put stop loss and just press buy is that you press buy or sell the signal can be buy or sell all right but this signal this signal on the flip with FACA group, it was a buy signal. So that's why I'm buying. Do you understand? So one thing in futures is that you must learn to manage your risk. Don't be too greedy. I'm not someone that wants to, 
I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to, you know, you know, get, I want to grow this account to $100 gradually. Because if you use 50% now and the thing goes against you, you have lost 50% of the account. It's as simple as that. So you must make sure you mind your risk. It's very important. Don't risk, risk, I me. Mean, I risk only 10% of my account. I don't risk more than 10%. Do you understand? So don't be too greedy, all right? If the higher your balance, the higher your risk. If I have $1,000 here and I'm risking 10%, that means I'm risking $100. And one thing you should know is that the higher your risk, the higher your profit. Like me that I'm risking $4.3. If the trade goes 100% for me, I have gained extra $4.3. If it goes 50%, I have gained $2.15. Because of my risk. But if I have a $1,000 account and I'm risking $100, and I'm risking $100 here, let's say I have $1,000 balance and I'm, and I'm risking $100. If the trade goes 100%, I am getting $100, $100, $100 extra profit. If it goes 50%, I am getting 50% extra profit. But most times, the trade must not get to your take profit. Sometimes you can close the trade or you can move your stop loss upward. It's called move stop loss to break even. Maybe the trade has gone 60% and you don't want to close the trade. You can move your stop loss to 40%. Okay, I'm going to explain that in another video. So this is just how to take a uh, trade on uh, on MEX exchange. So we have our trade here. This you can see it is under limit. The trade has not started until it gets to that particular price before it will be triggered. All right. So thank you.